Greenwood is miles better than him, yeah? And Greenwood never got the hype that he's getting. But like I said, it's because he's been adopted by, do you know what I mean? The, the Ronaldo meat riders. That's why. <laughs> that is why he's been adopted. He's their surrogate child. So th this is the reason why that they're overhyping everything he does. Like. He's been exceptionally rubbish, even for his standards. In the yeah, he just hasn't, he hasn't scored a goal. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Do you know what I see earlier? It was funny. You know when he shushed the Galatasaray fans? Mm. I, I see a clip earlier. It was a, um, so a Galatasaray fan posted it on Twitter, right? And Anthony was apologising for Garnacho. Yeah, the yeah, he, he was, was he was. Yeah, yeah, he was like, no, no, sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. Like, sold up, like, come on, man. Like, yeah, and then he was like, listen, this ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, yeah, like, no bed. Yeah, I, I ain't having this, mate. Mm. No, <laughs> 100%. <laughs> no, he was just like, nah, listen. You know what I'm saying that's him doing his thing, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just make sure I get out of here all right, lads. Yeah, but do whatever you want. <laughs> He's a weird you, blood. He's a weird you. I'm not even gonna lie. I cannot even lie, bruv. So I, it, I don't. It's know just one of them, isn't it? You just like you, everyone's got one in their team where you just think you're a prick, mate. Yeah, like, but that was my man for you lot, isn't it? Um, fucking what's his name? You got rid of him as well. The kid with the afro. Afro. The French kid. Oh, Ganduzi. Yeah, Ganduzi. That was him, bro. <laughs> just out here doing bullshit. You know them ones there. Man was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, he's not with us. You know, like that. It's, it's one yeah, of them ones. Him. <laughs> yeah, that's it's like, he's not with us, bro. You know, like that. So now nah, it gets it gets like that, man. It gets like that. But now nah, yeah, my, my one's in Tenko, bro. I saw I seen a clip today uh, where he was talking. Like, he's walking around the training ground and they're asking him a question. Yeah, like, how did you propose to your wife? Bro, I swear, why would he even ask uh, answer the question the way he answered it? Yeah, he said mm. it all went wrong, right? He said I had it all planned in my head, yeah, and it all went wrong, and I ended up being naked in the corridor in her apartment and proposed. I was like, man's even having his pants pulled down in his bird's gaff. Like, what, what do you mean I ended up in the corridor? How I ended up, it, bro. This is what I'm saying. It's weird. This guy is a weird guy, bro. I ended up naked in the corridor in her apartment yeah and proposed it's like why are you naked in her apartment firstly does she know you're there <laughs> right <laughs> like what man broke into her apartment was just waiting there naked bro that's, that's a charge dude, it's weird. it sounded so weird bro yeah and he, you know, and he goes oh, i can't believe it it all went wrong i'm like bro the story of your life mate like real talk <laughs> this guy's off key yeah oh. naked in the corridor yeah or the hallway or whatever of her apartment and proposed. Why are you telling the world that? Like proper off key, bro. This, this guy, bro, I can't stand him. A bit like with Garnacho. Like I just think you're an idiot, bro. Like, yeah, bro. Hey, man, man, man's a weird guy, bro. Like hundred percent. Yeah, that Nacho Ute's weird, isn't it? Like he's weird, <laughs> isn't it? But you know what, man? I have faith in. I have faith in the football gods getting rid of him. The next couple Told of seasons. Man, anyway. also soon avenge in two years. He finish dead baller. Bro, Janazai left your club, yeah? Because right, I've seen enough, like, I see... Yeah, he was in club. Spain for, for a while. He's at Sevilla. He, I think he's played three games all year. Then do you know how old he is? And that must be like 29. Yeah, oh, there you go. Right, he left your club seven years ago. Mm. Yeah, and he left your club having scored... Um, sorry, having played, I think, six games more than Garnacho's currently played. And they've got there or thereabouts the same GA. Yeah, because he was he was under Moyes, um, Adnan. Because Moyes mm. really wanted Adnan to be something. Yeah, and he got shipped out on loan to. Yeah. I think Moyes somewhere. gave him the number eleven, I believe. Maybe. I think Moyes gave him Giggsy shirt. The next Ronaldo, he was, he was dubbed, wasn't he? The next Ronaldo. Yeah, I, Adnan, luck. Adnan had qualities, yeah, but he he's a scrub. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and, that, and that's why, like, we given Hoyland the number eleven as well. He's a scrub as well. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just one of them ones that he got given. He got given um, Mason's number. Um, crazy. Uh, I, I, I just I don't know for this football club, man. Do you know what I mean? But now we have to go backwards before we can go forwards. Mm. Yeah, you need to clear out in the summer, man. Yeah, and Adnan was better than Garnacho, hundred percent. He was. Yeah, but the, but I mean? the fact that this Garnacho is so hyped. And the fact that he will still be there next season. But shows these social cool. media, man. It's these mutants on social media. This is this is why. Because it's one of them ones where, bro, like, 
Greenwood is miles better than him, yeah? And Greenwood never got the hype that he's getting. But like I said, it's because he's been adopted by, do you know what I mean? The, the Ronaldo meat riders. That's why. <laughs> that is why he's been adopted. He's their surrogate child. So th this is the reason why that they're overhyping everything he does. Like I was watching, yeah, some old Mason Greenwood stuff at Man United because I forgot about it because... Obviously, remember, Greenwood had the mad season, but it was lockdown, so we are playing in empty stadiums. Mm. So, obviously, I've watched um, the Greenwood stuff in um, in Spain, and then we went back to watch like some of the Man United stuff, and I forgot some of the mad goals he was scoring, and I was yeah, like, he's wow. I was like, right Mason foot. is an absolute, he's a monster of a footballer, yeah, and I was thinking, right, like, the hype that this this guy natural kids get and back then he was what 17 18? yeah you can't even use age because mason was younger than him when he was doing this do you know mm -hmm. what i mean because mason's had one and a half seasons out and mason's only 22 now so mm -hmm. nah bro green was crazy quickest of 50 goals or something wasn't it? Yeah. unbelievable like, player for man. under 18 or under 20 or something wasn't it? unbelievable like, player, man. yeah he's a decent he's a very decent footballer man very decent like i said to you on, on tuesday like best thing he can do is stay well away from man united yeah yeah just stay in spain mate you're, you're doing all right yeah bro do, do do your thing mason you know like that do your thing my guy and he'll level up as well because you like eventually a bigger team are coming for him even if it ain't one of the biggest ones he'll mm -hmm. level up then go and smash it for them then he will get the big move but that's why that, that that's why like if i could give him any advice it would be that like um make sure that he's playing football next season this season doesn't count because even though he's playing amazing um, this season is his first season back. He's had a year and a half out, so this is his preseason. Mm. Next, yeah, season next season will be this. Yeah, yeah. This is his preseason now. Next season will be his full season, and then then he can look to go to to a big club. Like if I was him now, I'd either stay where he is for one more season or go Bundesliga or something. Absolutely smash the place up. And then look for that move. It could be to buy a Munich, or then you can go to your Real Madrid or your Barca, or something like that. But he needs a full season of staying fit and playing. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? Like that. That's all. That's what we need for Mason, man. And he's just got to show people. Um, show not even show people. Remind people who he is. Do you know what I mean? Because it's so easy yeah, with all the rubbish going on for people to forget who this guy is. He's a real generational talent in in a game right now full of frauds full of um false prophets because there's a lot of these young players that are getting hyped up and they're going to be nothing he's not one of those guys he's a genuine when when i talk about ability forget stats when you talk about ability he's got ability yeah, that you see once every 20 years if you're lucky mm, mate, if you're lucky Listen, he, he's he's le he's so good on both feet as well. Direct, yeah. yeah he can play left, right, center. He can play anywhere, man. Yeah, top baller, top top joke, baller. Joke of a player. Um, it, it took him a while to get going out here, but that's ov obvious after eighteen months out of the game. Yeah, but mm. to then be post posting up the performances he's doing now, yeah, with the oh, numbers well, backing it as well. You got yeah, Anton like, Griezmann coming out saying, "Yo, this guy had us on toast," you know. Hey, like, he did, bro. He absolutely. And bro, like him. when I was watching, yeah, when I was watching just Mason's highlights from that game, I was thinking, this guy, he, he was heavily involved in one of the goals, but he didn't three, officially he get a goal. Yeah, but he didn't officially get a goal or an assist. Yeah, and mm. he imagine a player. This is what I'm saying. You've got a player talking about how you terrorize them, and you got no stats from the game. Fact, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's that, a bullshit, bro. No, like, that's it. Bro, he, the, the, the first goal they scored, he had the shot and the keeper parried it. Mm. Yeah, and then the guy taps it in. The second one, he dribbled past um, Raquel May, absolutely schooled him, man. Yeah, and then dribbled right to the front, like to the touchline, like in line mm. with the goal. But he'd already seen the guy peel back. Yeah, he peeled back and the guy took the shot, sick finish, but it deflected, so he don't get mm. the assist. Yeah, exactly. And then he, and then he won the penalty. Cooked for Kelme again, won the penalty. So he was Baller. involved in all three. Baller. Yeah, oh, mate, he was quality that day. Yeah, but he's been really good. Like He's getting into his rhythm now. And the thing is, the winter break's probably probably come at the wrong time for him. Because mm. they ain't playing again for another two weeks. Yeah, but you know what? It'll be good. It will be good for his recovery, though, because he hasn't played for a year and a half. He's back playing at the highest level and bro this little break just keep him fresh physically and mentally do you know what i mean and also 
he'll miss it now because he hasn't played for a year and a half and now he's getting into the rhythm of playing and now they've taken the game away from him again so he's going to be itching to get back and that mm. bro you never know second half of the season he could do a madness like i wouldn't be surprised yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't be yeah, surprised wouldn't he's a proper player though do you know what i'm saying he's a proper proper player